Yo, los geht's! What's good, my people? What's up? Hey, this is Info254, guys. Want to greet you. Thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for the new subscribers. It's an amazing journey. The journey to 1,000 subscribers. Okay, guys. Today I'm going to talk about something that you need. Something that you need legally, guys. Legal insurance, guys. There are so many types of legal insurance. There are five. Okay, guys. But why do you need this kind of legal insurance? And you know, people think that legal matters only happen to different type of people. They can happen to you. You imagine you just receive a letter, you know, from your neighbor complaining about a certain issue, and you need to go to court. Where do you start? Legal fees, legal lawyers cost a lot. You know, if you don't have your own personal lawyer, it's a problem. So, guys, that's why it's important for us to talk about this legal insurance, you know, these types of legal insurance. You know, they cover so many small things which affect you too. You know, your landlord is kind of always adding rent for no apparent reason. You know, your landlord is not fixing your, your heater. You know, guys, in Germany, so many things happen, you know. Four out of ten people have this kind of legal insurance because of such things. You know, you've been dismissed. You're supposed to sign a letter of dismissal from your place of work. And yet, you don't understand the letter. You need, you need that kind of legal insurance. And this kind of legal insurance stuff, 10 euros to 100 euros per year, 10 euros per month to maybe 100 and plus per year. And you are covered, guys. You know, that's why today I said, ah, let me, let me explain this to, you know, people. Some people are suffering because, you know, you go to fix your car and uh, the car comes out of your, you know, the mechanic complains that uh, it spoils something in your car. Extra. You know, needs extra money for this. No. There's the kind of insurance that takes care of that. Lawyers that take care of that. You know, you receive, um, you know, you have problems with the, uh, with the, with the immigration, guys. Yeah, if you have problems with the immigration, <laughs> yeah, you can actually seek a lawyer. Yeah, but it's cheaper if you have this kind of legal insurance, you know, which you are paying maybe per month, maybe even just four euros per month, and you are done. You just wait for problems. You know, just wait for anybody who's suing you. Your neighbor can sue you for like, you know, every time you cook, there's also a smoke in his house. His eyes are itching. You just receive a letter in your mailbox. What do you think you do? You cannot just tie it and throw it away. No, that's a legal matter. That's why today I'm going to talk about this legal insurance. You know, you know, you need it at your place of work. You need it at home. You need it to protect yourself against any kind of legal actions. You know, you know. For example, you you know you. you, you I talked about liability, which is different. You know, liability insurance is also important. Some people are like, okay, this thing is I've, nothing has happened to me for long, and um, you know, you just happen to lose your key that you can check on the video on the, on the older video about legal insurance about uh, liability insurance you lost your key and that key is a master key that opens the main door for you to buy the key for all those people in that house you know it might cost you up to 5000 euros you know that's why you need something like these things like this liability insurance but today we're going to talk about legal insurance you know le you know these red shoots which is important People know, people have to know you can buy a package of all these things, you know, but let's just get to these and see how important it is, how important it is. You, people can even sue you, you know, just for example, person like me, they say that I'm racist, you know, and I receive a court order, a court letter requesting I have to be in court. What do you think I have to do? You know, I have to look for a lawyer, you know, I was not prepared, but you have to look for a lawyer. You know, you can imagine you, you are being sued by your roommates, you know, your vague mates oh, about some kind of issue. You know, your landlord is increasing rent, has given you a notice of uh, eviction without, uh, you know, just that you just need to move next out of the, of the apartment. That's why such things like legal insurance are not things to joke about. You know, they are serious things in this country. You know, Germans really take seriously serious matters in terms of, uh, you know, if you're going to be, to receive a legal notice or some kind of legal, you know. For example, you you are you have been sending your documents to the immigration office, and they is always saying, bring another one, bring another one, bring another one, bring another document, bring another document. You are always sending one by one. Then the best thing is for you just to look for legal legal help. 
and with one letter to the immigration office you know you'll get an you'll get everything done you know they'll be like no more letters to you you'll just send whatever they want and you get the service done so guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new please don't forget to subscribe let's talk about these legal matters and uh, see how important they are especially in germany guys so if you are new to this channel feel entertained this is in command 254 i talk about life abroad and opportunity so what types of uh, legal insurance are there to be talked about you know there's the first of all there's the private legal insurance then there's the professional legal insurance then there's the traffic legal insurance there's the rental or house legal insurance then there's the criminal legal insurance okay the five ones are the most important you know because they also affect our day-to-day -day activities which i'm going to talk about just briefly and for you guys. the first one you know private legal insurance you know you you need to have, uh, a, 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 you know, you have private matters, you know, like for example, your kid has been just expelled from school and um, has problems at school with some, uh, some kids and some teachers. You need that kind of private legal insurance, you know, you, these are private matters which you need to like deal with, you know, you have problems at your, you know, with your, you know, just general problems, like private problems, you know, with people, you know, you need to get a lawyer because of such kinds of things you know you have a outside here you meet somebody you have a dispute you go in for that private legal insurance you know just for general matters you know because things can end up in court and abuse can lead you to just abuse somebody there's evidence you're in court you know so that's why you need that kind of private legal so professional legal insurance this is important guys you know um apart from these you know some work related uh, institutions have like um, packages which uh, you know, like uh, workers uh, pay per month in a group so that they're protected in a group. But still, some people, it's always good sometimes to have a private, you know, like a professional legal insurance so that uh, in case you have a problem, a personal problem, you know, you've been dismissed from work and, and such things. You, you There's a letter you can't understand because the German is uh, true. You can't get it into your real language. You need that kind of professional legal lawyer. And for that, you need to be to have that package, you know, just to protect you from work. You received a letter you don't understand, you can take it to this lawyer, a letter from work. You can take it to these lawyers and they can translate it for you. They can tell you if it's a good thing or it's a bad thing, if you need to sign it or if you don't need to sign it. That's why you need that professional legal insurance, you know. You are being harassed by your, at, at your place of work, by, by your workmates, or you are being harassed by the... The, the people in charge of the company, you feel like you're being, uh, you know, you know, unfairly, you know, unfairly um, handled. This, that's why you need, you need that kind of professional legal insurance. So traffic, traffic uh, legal insurance. You know, people will ask, hey, you know, you know, you need traffic legal insurance. For example, you have, you're involved in an accident and you need legal compensation. You as an individual, you know, you use a lawyer for that kind of legal. Um, legal uh, compensation or you are involved in an accident the insurance company will pay for the other car but the other guy is suing you for mental uh, problems uh, you know psycho psychic problems you know because trauma you need to have that kind of traffic legal insurance you know it's a small thing but it can happen to anybody and it, for a small fee of five to ten euros per month you can always have this kind of insurance if it's something for you just to avoid any kind of costs you know in terms of traffic related uh, legal problems you know or for example um, uh, your car you know has a problem and you took it to the mechanic and there's a problem with it mm. then uh, you can also deal with that oh. rental legal insurance you know this is a major problem in this country housing is a problem first of all and then we have uh, the housemeister, you know, the people who kind of fix the houses. If there's a problem in the house, if there's a leakage, the heater is not working, there's a, the roof is leaking, yeah. You and you've been trying to contact the landlord, you know, and nothing is happening. You know, you, you know, you just you can sue. You know, you use this uh, rental or house legal insurance to sue this uh, housing corporation or the the housing department because of the damages and the uncomfort that you're having. Um, maybe the, the windows are not uh, properly made. There's a lot of cold coming in in winter. You become sick and stuff. It's always good to le seek legal you know, advice because um, if you tried all the best to handle it uh, in a social way and it's not working, the best way is for you to go 
the legal way. Yeah. Just know that in Germany, four out of ten people have have kind of, will sue you for a problem. Will sue you for a problem. They are paying for it, and uh, for them to avoid all these headaches of looking for a lawyer, making appointments. Uh, to f meet physical lawyers and stuff no they just sue you and uh, with this kind of packages that are here online which they kind of been paying for months and years they say why not i'm be paying for it you are the culprit i'm gonna get you with this i'm gonna use my lawyers i'm gonna use these people who i'm paying per month to get rid of you to get rid of this problem you know you'll have to pay me you'll have to compensate me for the damages that's how they talk you know a german will just sue you for looking at him in it but no that's a joke a blink of the eye and you are being you're getting a court order you know and if you have no legal <laughs> background you have no legal uh, basis you have to wake up the following day and move into these offices to look for lawyers and if you move into these offices i'm telling you the legal fee is not just something that you have to wake up and pay it's a lot of money that's why you need such things like you know i've been talking about this kind of uh, the rental insurance you know you know, you have problems with their neighbors. You have problems with the, um, with the, with storage. You have all those things which related to house. You know, house problems. You know, related. You need that kind of um, insurance. You know, and a lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. You know, very, very important. Very, very important. You know, many people. It affects many people in this. Oh, another one is the criminal protection. You know, you have uh, to know that um, somebody sues you that you've done something wrong. You can imagine just receive a letter um, yeah that you've been doing something wrong you 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 are you, you, they, you are a criminal now you know they're saying you're a criminal you stole something or there's evidence or this somebody is trying to say you did something you know you need a criminal lawyer that's something i don't need to explain you know in case you are in a dispute you get into a fight somebody hits you you know you need a criminal lawyer that's something that's important to you and important to you to know that um, criminal lawyers are very expensive in case uh, you are uh, a person especially if you're an aggressive person or you know you're a provocative person you need a criminal lawyer yeah I'll give you an example there for example I'm just writing stuff doing my content I receive a letter somebody suing me because of some kind of content I put in the on my youtube channel um, it's a court um, as a content creator I have to have a lawyer because it's at the end of the day if somebody sues me because of um, maybe sues me because of copyrights or something I need a criminal lawyer so criminal lawyers are important you know if somebody sues your child uh, sues you sues your wife you know they have they've sued your family for a certain reason you need a criminal lawyer that's something that is not discussed it's something that normally you need to have it from the first time because just to avoid a lot of court fee and uh, looking for lawyers who like just drain your bank you know get this kind of packages simple packages yeah which will be at the end of the day they'll be worth you know, it some of the reasons why we need this kind of lawyers is like for example you know you bought a ticket and um, you want a refund you know if you don't have private legal legal or uh, lawyers to deal with this who are uh, you know you can call and they just respond you might not get your money back you know you know that's why such small things like just you need a refund from your ticket from as you bought a gadget you need to return it you need back your money and they're not paying you back your money you have a problem you know you, the same as i said caution you paid your caution for example if you have like in a you know private lawyers you know like for example you paid your caution you know caution for the house and you want to move out and the landlord just doesn't want to give you for a certain reason you know, just contact these lawyers, you know, the private lawyers and they, they kind of, the private legal lawyers, they just kind of deal with it and, you know, and they might even add some money on it for damages, you know, and trauma. Yeah, because if you, the, it's your right to get the money back and there's no basis for the landlord holding your caution back, it's actually a legal case, you know. That's why it's important to have that kind of legal lawyers. And even things like, uh, you know, at work, work related problems, you know, like for example, you just want to take holidays, you know professional lawyers you know professional legal lawyers will deal with this you know you want to take holidays and you work you know your work um, your bosses don't want to give you holidays you can uh, use a lawyer you know because it's your it's a right you know this in this country holidays are, are your right you know you if you are obligated to 
to take holidays, you can take them and nobody can stop you from taking your holidays. That's why you need these professional lawyers, you know, who will deal with such cases, you know, for example, and even work-related problems, you are hurt at your place of work, you know, and uh, you've been at home for many years. I know people who've been for many years because of work-related uh, accidents, you need lawyers, you know, to kind of get compensated and uh, because some companies, they'll just fire you and you go home, live for the rest of your life with the kind of the disability. That's why professional legal lawyers are important to deal with work-related problems. Yeah, these are things that uh, nobody expects, but they can happen to anybody. Yeah, you need to be in a lawyer, to have to be in this lawyer system in this country. Germans are in it and they, they don't joke about it. They sue you for anything. They sue you for, for such things. You know? So for you to get money back sometimes, you need a lawyer. You lose a lot of money for not having a lawyer, you know, a lot, a lot of money. You will not even know where to start. That's why these kind of professional lawyers are important, you know, um, in terms of work-related problems. Something that is important about this legal um, insurance, you know, you need to buy it. Don't wait for you to get a problem and then buy it that night, no. Buy it because some of them have a waiting uh, period of uh, between six to, between three months to six months. And um, they, it's always good when you have it and then something happens, then you contact them. But you cannot just buy and then use them immediately. No, no, no. There's a waiting period that needs to be covered. You know, if you do your own research, check on, uh, on, uh, on the policies, they're, they're different policies. You know, some, some are like you need to wait, you know, because they, they believe you can't just have a problem and just contact them and you're paying 10 euros per month. No for like six months and above yeah uh, check the ones that are the fastest you know you can check with check fion twancy or the very fly, very fox which ones are good the, you know the platforms you know that's why it's important for you to, to kind of get into this system early don't wait for the problem before you get into the system you know very important very very important you know yeah because um uh, yeah they believe uh, you need to find them when you're already in the system you know don't look for them when you just have a problem that's a problem for them because they lose you know imagine you just got into the legal system paying the legal uh, paying these insurance companies which deal with legal problems and then you have a problem that's worth 10,000 20,000 and you're paying 10 euros per month that's why they want you to get into the system early three to six months early then pay pay the rest of your life you know if you're paying even just 10 euros it's okay at the end of the day, something nice will come out of it, you know, stress-free. So there are different types of um, legal insurance, you know, and um, I won't talk so much about them, but uh, there's one which is called uh, Get Safe, uh, you know, which is good. And, um, you know, guys who want to get into this, I'll put a link of different types of uh, legal insurance here, rest shoots, and um, go do your own research. Go to the comparison platforms like uh, you know check fion swansi check 24 and uh, very fox compare which one is good for you because from these platforms you can get a good deal you can even get a package you know depending on what you your legal uh, you know your, you know what you need to be protected from and uh, yeah with these packages you can work free and uh, feel free that you're protected because you can take rest shoots you can take the liability plus the legal plus the, any others and others on that'll be talk other law other insurance companies that I'll be talking about that you need in this country to reduce your cost of living because this is actually reducing your cost of living by handling problems that might lead to a lot of money you know because this legal insurance some of them are up to even millions of shillings you know because somebody can sue you for you started a fire burnt the whole house you know and you actually, it is, you know, you are the person who, there's evidence that you actually burnt that house, you know. What do you do? You need a lawyer, you know. Which, and the, the apartments might be worth millions of shillings. So that's why it's important to have this kind of insurance stuff. Guys. What does the legal insurance don't cover? They don't cover fines, you know. If you are strafe, if you are a person who, like, uh, travels in the bus without a ticket, it doesn't cover those. You know, fines like parked, uh, parking tickets. Now, nah. unless somebody says you parked in a wrong place and you there was no sign, but if you park in the wrong place that there's the sign for no parking, you have to pay for your own tickets. Even with liability insurance, fines are not taken care of. 
Yeah, fines mean that you are, it's your problem, you, you ignored the law. Because by ignoring the law is a problem. Ignoring the law is actually in Germany illegal. You know, you cannot, uh, you see somewhere it's written on, don't make a U-turn and with your car, you're driving your car, don't make a U-turn and you make a U-turn and the police stop you. You cannot tell them that uh, you didn't see or no. You have seen there's a sign, you, have, you ignored the law. So avoiding the law and getting a fine, no lawyer will take care of it. Fines are supposed to be paid. If there's evidence that you actually ignored something and you got a fine, you know, you ignored the ultimatum, you got a fine, that's a problem that you need to handle on your own. So that's really important for you guys to know that legal matters don't handle everything, especially personal things like fines, you know. You know getting into problems and being fined. No. So my people with those viewers, you know, you know, legal insurance is something that you need to have. And um, don't hesitate to check the packages on check fee on Swansea for those people who are living in Germany. Know that um, you cannot live in this country without legal problems. You can, of course, but something will always come up. Uh, so as uh, little as five euros per month, you can have uh, your own legal insurance, you know, rest shoots, you know, because uh, People like to sue people in this country, you know, because they are paying for these kind of services. So for you as a foreigner, especially I'm talking for people, for most Germans actually have this kind of insurance. You as a foreigner in this country, know that you need it. You need it for your kids, for your wife. You know, insurance is a must. There's no way you will you, you have, can avoid it, but you can if you live in a, in a forest, you know, you live alone. No, but uh, so long as you're living and interacting with people, interacting with crowds, you need, you need legal insurance. Okay, guys, so for those few words, I want you to wish you a lovely day. You know, when you're here in Germany, we are not seeing the sun anymore because you are right now in winter. We can see the light. But we cannot see the, the sun. I think the sun is down there in Africa. You know? So guys, if you are new to this YouTube channel, don't forget to take a minute. Just hit the like button. You know, and if you feel like you really want to listen to my stuff, please don't forget to subscribe. And if this legal information was entertaining, and educative to you if you've learned something new you can write a small comment down there to encourage me doing this stuff encourage me to continue with the research and I want to wish you well as you continue with your duties in the middle of this week yeah this is Informant 254 just signing out from Stuttgart Germany be blessed and remember without love there's no going up it's only going down. Love is the answer, you know? Guys, take care. Signing up.